Hey guest services, how you doing today? Finally recuperated from that Easter and wow, what an Easter it was. Guys, those of you who were able to serve, thank you each and every one. Uh, we absolutely could not have done that without you. Those of you be on Sunday, hats off to you guys. You know what I'm talking about. 915, there were over 2,500 in the service. That's the South Auditorium, North Auditorium, in the fireplace room, the West Overflow, and the green room. 1115, wow, same thing, except we filled up the south, filled up the north, filled up the west overflow, filled up the fireplace room, filled up the green room. Then we had at least 30 people sitting out here in the hallway right by door number one. It was extremely busy. If you guys missed it, wow, I uh, don't know where we'd have put you, but you should have been here just for the experience. So thank you to each and every one of you guys. Uh, New Spring Church could not function without you guys, and you know that, and you did an outstanding job. It went extremely smooth. From my perspective, you guys just knocked it out of the park. So, like always, you guys wanna know about the numbers. Total uh, people that were on campus, 14,886 people were on campus in those seven services. 379 decisions for Christ were made. So, kudos to you guys. Kudos to the Holy Spirit for working in those lives and made decisions. So, again, guys, thank you so much for everything you do. It was awesome, awesome. Next, uh, ushers, be kind, be respectful, be courteous when you're inside helping seat people. Uh, ask them nicely, gently. We're not pushing anybody. And only ask a guest one time to move. Please do not ask a guest to move twice. That is unacceptable. But remember, above all, be kind, use tact when asking people to move when we got those larger services, okay? Uh, you're doing a great job, just keep it up. Just wanted to make a friendly reminder of that. Info Center, folks, we've got a new procedure that I'd wanna start implementing for first time guests. Uh, we had to do a little improvising this last weekend because we were out of first time journals. So, I had some bags for you and a couple of things to put in there. I want to continue that bag deal. So, those of you working Info Center, when a new uh, first time guest comes up, why don't you grab one of these nifty little bags we have? Take the regular first time journals like we, we've been giving out, put that in the bag, along with a new spring pen, and then ask them how many people are in their party. And if they have three, let's say, Grab three candies out, put in there. Like that. There you go, hand it to them. Let's try that. I think it's a little bit more of a gift for them. Uh, now they've got a bag to carry around their goodies in. And uh, let's just give that a try. So what do we got coming up? Okay, let's see the dates. I may mess up the dates, but anyway, the next thing for guest services is men's power lift, which is next Wednesday. I believe that'll be April 10th, I believe. Uh, men, again, the first 10 of you who sign up, we will provide lunch. And I think this time, drum roll, it is not Chick-fil-A. I believe it's Jason's Deli, I think, or some sort of another sandwich. So uh, those of you who are, want to try something different, come on. We're gonna have uh, Jason's Deli or something like that for you. And uh, man, you guys, again, Easter, you knocked it out of the park. I've had so many good compliments. Oh, you guys driving the carts and, and Sierra, I think, I think Sierra, I think you may have been the only lady we had driving the carts. We have had so many great comments about that, that uh, that may be something that we do in the future, I'm not sure. But you guys, that was a great win for you guys doing that. So kudos to you guys. Uh, a little chilly in those mornings. It was a little chilly, a little windy a couple times too. You guys did great. So thank you so much for everything you do. Uh, I've got one other item. I'm gonna have to go to the green room and film that and talk to you about that. And then I'll wrap this up, all right? Thank you. Hey, part two of this week's video. I had to come over here to our refrigerator. I wanna show you something. Uh, this keeps happening and it needs to stop right now if we are the ones doing it. I'm not saying we are. However, I did find uh, evidence on my desk uh, a couple weeks ago. So in this refrigerator, this is in the green room, that right there, there's orange juice that's kept in there. 
that's going to be backwards. You can't quite read that, but it says medical use only. We keep two orange juices in there for somebody who's diabetic and their blood sugars run real low. Those are not for us to just drink. So if we are the ones doing it, let's put a stop to that right now. Do not do that. Uh, I don't know where there'd be any, but listen, it says medical use only, and that means medical use only. So please do not drink those orange juices in there. There's some Sunny D and other drinks in there we can drink. Uh, granted, Sunny D's not quite orange juice, but anyway, it's still okay. Hey, that's going to wrap up this week's message. I know it's kind of a two-parter, but sometimes you got to do that. And appreciate everything you guys do, uh, getting back to normal on those weekends. Can't wait to see you. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.